I'm ready when you are. I don't have a lot of runway, so you can keep it rolling and just start smoothly advancing power if you want. I'll set this to the runway heading. Power is in the green. Engine instruments are in the green. A little back pressure. Tower, copter 6, Mike Sierra, inbound for F-Life. Helicopter 6 makes here, walk to our main west of runway 1 left extended, so we're landing at FRA, the the wind. Wind. Use caution, wind. Easy does it, that knows it's going to Alright, so what about crosswind takeoffs? Did we forget there? Shit, I had the wrong aileron there we go. Look at your stick to your chest, no. just over the departure at runway 1 left on runway 1 left. So, that's tragic. Wind was it like to the right, right? right? It should have been to the right. Yeah. I, that's kind of stupid of me. No, it's a uh, learning experience. Great visibility today, though. Yep, beautiful. But with that comes... The reason it's so nice out today is because the air is a little unstable, so it's going to be a little choppy. Okay. You are going to handle it like a professional. Sure. Davey said patronizingly. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you are fine. You put up with all my stupid jokes. Yeah, they're not stupid. You're workshopping. Seven Lima Golf helicopter traffic at your 11 o'clock in two miles inbound to the field 1,700. Do you see him? Traffic yeah. in sight, Seven Lima Golf. Traffic in sight, Seven Lima Golf. We'll pass behind him and then we'll turn over to Timur. Runway okay. heading was the uh, assignment, so just fly zero one zero. Traffic at your uh, 10 o'clock in one mile, Cessna northbound 1,300. Roger, looking for traffic six five zero. All right. We'll go over to Timmy. Once All right, he, so once he clears us. Okay. When should I take the initiative to say? Uh, so seven Lima Golf, turn left on course and contact departure. Left on course, contact departure. Seven Lima Golf. Nice. So when should I come in and say? If like, you right? if you're going way out there and it sounds like it seems like he forgot about you. Okay. Step in and just say, hey, seven Lima Golf, we go to Timmerman when able. You know, just a polite nudge. Okay. And when am I supposed to say, like, hey, we're at 1,500 feet? Uh, he said contact departure, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're at power. Right, we're at power. Terminate, same spot for okay. talking about. Thank you. So now we can say 1,600 feet on the way to Timberman. Yep, 1,600. Definitely zero. 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 is 1,600 climbing, 3,000 direct Timberman. Okay. Who is that call, Mark? with the request? Let's just come in four zero zero Whiskey Golf. We'd like to do a practice uh, RNAV. Four left into uh, Timmerman. Four zero zero is golf route to maintain VFR. It's called four six six three. Walk departure seven five seven Lima Golf uh, one thousand eight hundred climbing in three thousand direct to Timmerman. Bravo, beautiful. Hey, let's get it. Zero, it's go off radar contact about uh, 20 miles southwest from an airport. You might get the practice, the practice for that the calling in. Four left and two terminal. How is this approach terminal? <laughs> All right, we'll go direct uh, Valley and uh, yeah, so the didn't hear me? approach. We'd no. have to hold at Hawkins. That's Zero, let's go off radar. Sometimes they're on other frequencies, whatever. Okay. Let me know if I should do it again. Yeah, you should. All right. Rocky departure 757 Lima Golf at 2100, climbing to 3000, direct to Timmerman. Sound of golf, Roger. Information now, Whiskey Scarden Timmerman, they're landing runway 4 left. 4 left, 7 Lima Golf, Roger. 7 Lima Golf, Roger. Cool. No need to repeat anything there. Nope. No, it's all advisory, right? So they're Whiskey, they're landing 4 left. We, would, we had two radios we could get Whiskey right now, but we don't. Port Charlie, do it. See, truck no, we need to put. To so what's the next frequency we need to stand okay, by? Okay, direct Walker shot. Uh, 4,000. Port Charlie, ADIS, do it. ADIS, but if we don't need that, we go to tower. Yeah, but we need the ADIS over there because he gave us the identifier, but we didn't listen to it yet. Okay. Got to listen to it. But we can't switch unless we are cleared to switch, so you can put it in standby for now. Approach, uh, there's 227 Kilo Charlie, 6,000. And once he clears there's us... 227 Kilo Charlie, Mike Approach, and if new and old, 2900, Let's grab it real quick. Zero nine we'll just switch the tower and just say, maybe we'll be whiskey inbound for pattern. Hey, Thank you. And he gave us four left, so we can start thinking ahead a little bit. What are we going to, what kind of entry are we going to make from four left? Four left. Five, five, six, team lock approach, good afternoon, plan a visual approach, one, uh, zero, so four one, left is going to be three, something three, like zero, this, zero, and we can, uh, uh, left. Milwaukee approach, seven, seven, Echo Yankee, checking in at, uh, 6,500. Are we going to have to come seven, in seven, from Echo Yankee, Roger, the other side? Changes. 
Uh, uh, Seven Golf, uh, six no. south east of Terminal Airport, radar service and terminal, Chicago VFR, fix your change crew, have a good day. VFR, leave Golf, see you. VFR, uh, Seven Lima Golf. There you go, squawk it. 1200. Yep, or you can just hit the VFR button. Oh, that's right. Yep. Alright, we got an AV8 navigate communicate. So get that nose down. Stop. Nose. Yeah, or you want to keep it. You can stop the climb here. Okay. 8,000. Power's got to come out. We're getting really close to the airspace. Let's grab this. What's the next frequency we need? Temperature 182. Oh, after that? Uh, 120.5. Put it in there. Visual approach and use landing runway 4 left. Nose, chairman. Use caution line, but okay. activity on and we'll try to grab the weather. Device control on initial contact. You have received information whiskey. Whiskey. We're not going to have a lot of time. we got to call them. Okay. Power. German airport information whiskey. Time at 2045 Zulu. Wind 0807. Good enough. Timberland Tower, 70 Golf 5 to the southeast inbound pattern with whiskey. Timberland Tower, 757 Lima Golf is 5 uh, to the southeast with whiskey. Looking for the pattern. Beautiful. Cessna 757, Lima Golf Tower, Tower, enter right base for only four left, report two miles. Right base, four left, report two miles, seven Lima Golf. Nice. So right base, four left, that would make sense, right? Because the runway is this way, we're on a right base, right? Yes. Cool. What's the pattern at, Timmerman? Uh, 18. Good. I love this flight because there's so much going on that once you get it down, you can go anywhere. Because yep. you're going from Mitchell to another Delta, with like a mile in between to get everything done. Yes. And I'm sitting here yelling at you, but pretty soon you'll be able to do this and then you can do this all day. So this one we're looking at is, is that the runway? This runway is what runway? 33, so we're this one here. Yep, we want to enter right base, so we do need to angle out that way. Yep. On a right base. Okay, the right comes down in, got it. And we are two miles. Two miles. Give him a call soon. Give him a call. Uh, Pyramid Tower, we are two miles southeast, uh, seven Lima Golf. Cessna, seven Lima Golf, runway four left, clear for the option. Four left, clear for the option, seven Lima Golf. We're not going to have the downwind to establish our key position, so we kind of have to do that out here. Tower, four zero zero, Back, so uh, you have to determine uh, when you're going to be uh, here. Uh, four left approach. Sorry, can you repeat that? We don't have our key position like we do in the downwind when we're opposite four the spot. Zero, yes. Yes. So we have to do that out here, which you're doing right now. Which four is left. Good. And what type of aircraft are you? We'll report the two-mile final. We are CA-24. Copy. They cleared us the option. He didn't give us a pattern, but he will on the go, probably. Yeah. Good. Pitch controls the what? Speed. Yeah. Power controls the what? Uh, distance. Good. Power controls landing in an empty swimming pool versus the runway. Correct. I have terrible jokes for days, in case you're wondering. Comanche 400 with Eagle. You do have traffic <laughs> passing under you at 1,900. Comanche 0 with Eagle, fast traffic. Got the windsock on the right side there, slightly out of the left. Little left wing, little right rudder. Not too much, that's a little much probably. There you go. Oh, shit. Beautiful, keep flying it. Don't push forward, hold it back, collapse up. Move the application of power. Moving. 
Good. Track the center line on the way out. There she is. Lower the nose a little bit. Let it accelerate. Stay on the runway center line. Point at these apartments. That little car down there. Let's get some speed. There's 70. Up we go. <laughs> okay. I don't know if I was prepared for that. No, because uh, you're, not, you're, you're ceasing to fly the airplane after the wheels touch the ground. Yeah. That's part of this. Cessna 7 Lima Golf, uh, continue up when I'll call your downward turn. Continue it up, 7 Lima Golf. Cessna 734, uniform victor frequency change. Uh, uh, you can see what I mean? You kind of like... Yeah, I, I wasn't prepared for a lot of this. Okay, so what I wasn't prepared for was because it's the first one in a, in a week or so, right? That's how this goes. So, wind was, the wind sock was coming this way, so the wind was out of the left, so I needed to left wing down, right. Seven wing golf, left down wind approved. Left down wind, seven wing golf. Comanche 400 Whiskey Golf, runway four left, clear line. Four left, uh, we'd like the option for zero Whiskey Golf. Comanche zero Whiskey Golf, runway four left, clear for the option. Clear for the option, zero Whiskey Golf. And we're Whiskey Golf, same intentions after. We're uh, going to go uh, miss and then uh, go to a hold. You needed and, a little uh, bit of left wing, so left uh, aileron and a little bit of right rudder. You did the right thing, you just had way too much of it. So okay. you gotta, you got to find that amount you need. Yes. The wing keeps you on the center line, the rudder lines up the airplane. So it's parallel with the runway. Okay. Yep. Just enough wing to keep you from drifting. Just enough rudder to keep you straight. And it takes time to develop that picture. And then the big part of this is flying the airplane after the wheels touch. Yep. Yep. See, we don't transition to being an automobile or any other kind of vehicle once the wheels touch the ground. We're simply still in an airplane with something underneath us. It adds an element, but all of the same aerodynamic principles apply. So we have to manage the airplane. In fact, the airplane needs us more at that point because we're slow. We've got a lot of airflow over the control surfaces, and there's things to hit. Yeah, so we need to actually do more flying. And so that means... Clear the option number two, seven. Clear for the option two, seven limb golf. Four left. Sorry, what? Uh, next time, clear the option number two on four clear left. Clear golf approach. Name okay, the right on four left. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I didn't hear what you said. Yeah. So, affirmative. Flying. Copy contact, Milwaukee, departure one, two, five, three, five, see you. Flying after five, I touch five, down five, is five, rudders and aileron in. Absolutely, and pitch. Okay. Hold the nose off, kind of just and flying pitch. the airplane. Once you learn to control the airplane, it's such a critical at such a critical time, like when you're on the runway, taking off and landing, which is actually when most accidents occur, Yes. then you will master most other aspects of it. Because that is when the airplane needs you the most, not the least, right? And that's yes. what's so important and so hard to teach and get people to understand because... Okay, 4825, um, you will have traffic, it's going to be a Comanche climbing... There's this subconscious the thing we're fighting climbing that we're off. somehow done with the flight at that point. Oh. Yeah. And a lot of it is just still being a little uncomfortable with what the airplane can do, which is completely normal. So part of this is just getting you to raise your comfort level with that, like, hey, I can actually do stuff here on this airplane at this point. 425 yes. traffic now, 12 o'clock, 3 miles, 2,400, climbing, about a 320 heading. Go ahead. Good decision. A little fast. Like that. and that's going to put your speed where you want it and help you out with uh, all the rest of it. Be patient, wait for it, hold it off, don't let it touch. Chopper 12, Timberman Tower, uh, stand Keep by, flying sir. Here. A little right rudder here. Okay, hold it off. Keep flying, keep flying. Okay, 42, 5 Let's traffic now. Uh, 3,000 altitude, 1 o'clock, 2 miles north. The wind is out of the right now. It's <laughs> shifting a little bit. Roger, <laughs> yeah. Stay on the rudders. Rudders are the big thing here now. 
little aileron. Now just track that, get her in the air, lower the nose a little bit, let it start flying. Track the, figure out where the wind is, track your center line, get it going, and now you can start that climb. If you try to pull it up too early, yep. you're gonna mush. Mushing means you just kind of, the airplane's hanging on the prop, it's struggling to gain altitude, you're uh, slow. Seven Lima Golf, continue up, continue up, uh, seven Lima Golf. Then you have yeah, a charge departure from okay. north ramp will be at your own risk, use caution, and I'll have uh Cessna turning left hand pattern Does that make sense? That mushing your departure and yes, yes. yes. Uh, yeah, we don't want to do that. And we could probably stall him too for yeah. So I'm sorry, what did he say? He said continue up upwind. He said upwind. Upwind is the is this leg of the path. Yeah, yeah. 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 Continue up is uh, uh, it's not the up, it's the upwind. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't hear the wind. Okay, 4825, Roger, circle, runway 4 left, cleared for the option. They forgot to mention that you're in the stressful left, part of flight training now. <laughs> no, you're doing great. And okay. 4825, your landings are good. North your landing, your depth perception, all that is excellent. We gotta get the polish, we gotta, I wanna make sure that you can control this airplane. Uh, the airplane's path on the ground. Yeah. Uh, then, uh, 7 Lima Golf, uh, right downwind approved. Right downwind approved, 7 Lima Golf. That's where we're at right now. Yes. It's a little shifty today. The wind is kind of variable. Which it is. I'm putting it. Yeah. Tower 12, Roger. You proceed on course. I'm putting it, uh, the aileron to the left, but I need it to the right. Yeah. I thought it was into the wind. It is into the wind, but it was changing down there. And, uh, okay. That's something we have to deal with as pilots. The thing about airplanes, and there's a lot of things about airplanes, but part of the enigma and the mystery and the mystique and the thrill of flying is that nothing is ever the same for each flight. Yes. But it also, the, the split side of that is that it makes it more challenging. Yep. And so today we have a different little bit of different wind scenario going on. It's variable, it's changing positions. They're not reporting gusts, but it is a little gusty. You're also switching between a 152 and a 172 a lot, which you're doing a grand job of, by the way. That to me indicates that you have the, the concept down, that you can switch airplanes. I'm happy to see that. Um, and I appreciate your flexibility. Uh, 7 Lima Golf, for runway 4 left, clear for the option number 2, following to a short final. Uh, 4 left, clear for the option number 2, 7 Lima Golf. Do you have that uh, Cessna in sight? Do not. How's our... How's our downwind track? Yeah, it's not good. Good, let's fix it. That was way too close. That's okay. So we'll fix it. See him now. Short yep. final. Yep. Say traffic in sight. Seven. Traffic in sight. Seven Lima Golf. There you go. So then Lima Golf, Roger. You have additional traffic. Uh, one o'clock. Helicopter. One thousand eight hundred. Tight. Seven Lima Golf. Beautiful. Copy. We'll stay out of his way. We'll give that Cessna room. He should have plenty of room. Blind here. I gotta take a look at what. Oh gosh. Hey, keep the turn coming. Let's see Get what happens. Get your speed back there. under control. Oh, pick up that on, nose. Uh, Bravo. It's Bravo. 70 knots. Bravo, Bravo one. Stay coordinated. Bravo one. Bravo, Bravo one. Cap 4825. Stay coordinated. Watch your ball. Good. Yeah, I was right rudder for the yeah, turn. Yeah, a little bit too much. That's common because you're trying to swing the nose around. Yes. That's actually a common Trouble stall spin scenario. Actually, you got traffic. If you can't make the turn happen without like going draft like westbound. really steep on the bank or too much rudder, then just level out, go around, yeah, just climb out, and get back on center line, do the upwind. Wind sock slightly out of the right, but not a whole lot. So just kind of you don't need a lot of input. It's almost right down the runway. Ah, right. Good. Nicely done. Did you see what a big difference I made when you put the aileron in the right direction though? Yeah. You went from skipping this way to being on track. Yes. 
And you don't need all of it all the time. Just need to blend it in. Yeah, I got a little excited for work. It worked out. Yeah, we're not trying to drag the wing tips, we're just trying to blend it in. Yeah, we'd like to come in and do some work about four yeah, it's, 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 around two thousand. Something crazy to yeah. to like That's get why, down. Yeah, why we spend so much time in the pattern here. That's what we were. Uh, Roger, you have tra traffic. We're ironing yeah. you out uh, right now. Pattern work is your fundamentals Jay, were established out there. Clock, now we're, we're flying those. Westbound. Not so, to go off on a tangent, but with the fundamentals of uh, 7 Lima Golf, left close traffic approved, thanks for being flexible. No problem, left traffic 7 Lima Golf. Um, when the fundamentals aren't instilled well in the first 10 to 20 hours, and then you come into the pattern, yeah. you can't apply anything. Yeah. So that's why I spend so much time on the pattern, on the route, and the practice area, and that stuff, because it's so important to get that down. You can rudder uh, work, coordination, four miles, yes, it is. and then you can apply it here. It will and, be, uh, yeah. And polish it, but especially when most, most accidents happen here. Yes. Copy, yeah, just let me know when you're going to so that last one. enter in uh, yeah, what we, which part you want to be in. Where did that, where did the problem start on that last one? Uh, I think I had a little bit too much energy. Well, no, where did the, where, yeah, where, where did the problem, oh. that, the landing was actually good, where did the problems in the pattern start for us? Um, it started with the right downwind. Yeah, what happened there? Um, Why did our turn from base to final get so tight? Oh, well, because I was too close. You converged. Yeah. I Remember what I was saying at the beginning about flying that straight line on the downwind that keeps you parallel to the runway? Yeah. If you diverge, go too far away, Yeah. or converge, it screws up your base leg. Yeah. I started too close. I should have diverged yes. to get some space. Yeah. That tower used to want to go through So that, that transitioned into a... Negative. Um, Zero uh, So we converge, and then when we turned base, we had no time to turn final, no to get established on base, and so you overshot a little bit, and then you kicked in inside rudder, which is what people do, but that that um, made us runway four left, clear for the option. Four left option, seven to go. That made us uncoordinated, and then you were steepening the bank. Yes. And if you had combined that with a stall you'll spin the airplane. And you'll do that close to the ground with no chance of recovery. But as long as I have my airspeed up, I'm able to do that. Not necessarily. Because okay. airspeed doesn't matter. It's the angle of attack. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then that is so air, So that's, what the, that's the false uh, thinking that uh, gets people in trouble. Now, it just so happens that if you lower the nose to keep your angle of attack under control, your airspeed will usually be sufficient. Uh, but it is an angle of the tap problem, not an airspeed problem. So. Okay. Because if I was to pull the power to idle right now and keep us in this bank and pull back, I would get the stall warning somewhere in like 60 knots or so. Interesting. Uh, Roger, yeah. for me. Maybe we can talk about that on the ground. Yeah, we'll angle of angle of the tap. Yeah. Because that is something to know. Yeah, it's angle of attack. It's not airspeed. Ever, ever an airspeed problem. Airspeed is a secondary effect of a lot of it, but airspeed and, uh... Airspeed and angle of attack are related, but they are not mutually... And, uh, or something like that. I could keep talking, I won't. Looks good, tight picture's great. Wind is right down the runway. Now. So what does that mean for aileron? And I can you don't it need a lot of it. And the wind isn't crossing us a lot, so we're not going to need a lot of or another aileron. Another angle of uh, traffic. Two to three o'clock. Two thousand five hundred. I think it's a Cirrus westbound. Just giving you a heads up. He's way above you. Roger, got him inside circle. Okay.
That was all right? That was really good. Yeah. Good. Another one. I went a little bit off to the right, but... Yeah, rudder work. Rudder work. Could've used a little bit improvement. Pick off it on location. I mean, that's... Yeah. A detail at that point. Sorry, the no, landing was really right, good. Go. Roger, uh, let me know whenever you want to go. We're still uh, left traffic. Left traffic until it dies, yeah. Okay. And that same, that last one, it would have still been right traffic unless... Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Now what if I started making the right traffic and then he called and said left traffic? Then you just no, kind turn of circle. Around. Yeah, just okay. turn. Yeah, just turn to the left. Started this by... Yeah, you're, the, you're, yeah, the you're, grips. You're, you're holding it a little lighter now. I'm, I was like sweat. My hands were sweat from. Do you remember what like I said scared. about using all the big muscles in your arm versus the little muscles in your arm? Yeah. I don't know. If I, maybe I mentioned that. If I didn't. You did. Yeah. Yeah. It's the finer touch when you're holding it lighter. Yeah. Like we don't draw pictures like this. We draw pictures like that, right? Yeah. It's just better understanding of of controlling the aircraft. Yeah. And flying, especially flying small airplanes, is an art form. I don't care what anybody says. We all have a little bit different style, a little bit different approach, but mine is the only right one. I'm just kidding. So you can see that wind suck. Go for only four left, clear for the option. Is that us? Uh, four left, clear for the option. Seven, we go. You can see that wind sock from up here, right? So the yes. wind is now crossing us out of the right a little bit down there. Yes. So you can plan ahead up here and just kind of talk through it. I'm gonna need a little right rudder, a little left, uh, right 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 out right right on the rudder. Yep, on the rudder. You got, got it. it. Got it. And not a whole boot full of rudder, not a whole fistful of aileron, but just enough. Now. And the the key is that once you touch down, you're gonna fold those inputs in and then you're gonna probably increase them as you slow down. And then, as you take off again, you're going to take them back out as the airspeed increases. Yes. What do you think, high or low? Uh, I don't know, I think we're doing fine. Okay. If you want me to put some more in, I still can. No, I'm just can. asking. No, just I can control it, I still got some I'm throttle to let go of. I just ask that as a... To think? As a thinking. Dogging your mind, that's all. Yep. All right, so yeah, wind out from the right now. Yeah. Little power here. Okay. All right. Yeah, that wasn't. Yeah, we were looking. I was Sorry. looking at the grass here. That's okay. Keep those ailerons in. Yeah, that. That. I don't know. Yeah, we were losing. We lost our directional control there, and we held, and we were. Flaring, 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 and we just ran out of flare, and then we were just in this stall scenario without touching the ground yet. So I shouldn't have flared, I should have just... Uh, probably just relaxed it a little bit and got a side picture, and plus you blinded yourself to the yeah. um, 
the position over the runway. Yeah. Uh, so if you're losing that situational awareness like that, get it back, lower the nose, see where you're at, go around if you need to. Okay. You can go around with me too. You, if you don't like what you're seeing, just get out of here. I'd like to see that decision making with me on board. Yeah. I have to see how you handle it, right? I was I looking know. at kind of the grass over here on that one. Like, I'm like, yeah, we're kind of off the center line. I uh, guess, like, I don't know. What's like. Fucking up a go around. Like, when is it too late to do never, a go around? Never too late. To so go if around. I just full throttle at any point, I'll be fine. Yeah, I mean, if you. No, well, you can get the nose down full throttle and get the airplane under control. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a, I guess I'm, yeah. Let's maybe do one light in the flare on this one to see. Maybe it's afraid of like losing control. Well, we should practice it so you get comfortable, yeah, because it's, the yeah. only time it would be way too late to do a go around is if, oh, I'll think of something. They're okay. sure there's some scenarios, but everything's relative in flying. Yeah. Okay. So that one I should have just probably landed it because it was like the double flare that that screwed me. Yeah, I probably would have gone around on that one if I were you. I or gone around. Yeah, I would have added the power, gotten the nose down, started flying again, see where I'm at over the runway, fix it. So maybe if I do like two, a second flare, that's when I just yeah. decide on the go around. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if you're in that stall scenario, you're not on the ground yet, you're not sure where you are position-wise, okay. probably a good idea to add some power and go around. You can save it like we did on that one by adding a little power to soften the touchdown. Yeah. It wasn't completely lost, but... Yeah. Seven Lima Golf runway, four left, clear for the option. Four left option, seven Lima Golf. What would you say on this? Would this be like too high or too low? Well, if the engine quit right now, would you make the runway? No. That's too low. Oh. Okay. A lot of these have been too low then. Yeah. Like the last one when I was like, are you high or low? Or how you, how did, how's it looking? Yeah, I said. and the answer was too low. Yeah, it was actually, it was okay. It was just a, 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 a jog. It was a, a okay. brain jog. I was like, yeah. I wanted to you know, think about it a little. Yeah, we might have made the field. Yeah. <laughs> Good, a little power carried in, pitch for airspeed. few more of those, man. That was nice. Yeah, I didn't Good try control. to balloon it. Great control. That, that, yeah, that was a little eye-opening, the, yeah. the one a couple times ago. Alright, now I just need a little bit higher on, the, on some of these. We're coming a little bit higher. A little bit steeper. Yep. A little bit steeper approach. Yep. Can do. 
We'll do this one, we'll head back to Mitchell. Okay. This airplane is a great little machine. I love this bird, man. This is a... I don't care what anybody says, this is one of the nicest ones we have, just as far as how it runs. It's a strong little motor. Yep. I like it too. Yeah. Even compared to the new one? Well, the new one's nice, definitely. This one's just got a little more guts. The 152, it's 10 more horsepower. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, the other one's 150. Yeah, the other one's just a little bit of a... Just a little less. Cessna 7 Lima, go front way, 4 left, clear for the option. 4 left, option 7 Lima, go. When should I tell them uh, this will be our last one? Um, you can say it now, just say on the next one we're going to be departing to uh, Mid-Fi. He may give you a right turn out approved or something like that. Yeah, so watch that spot. Back, 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 capture 70. When you capture 70 and lower the nose to hold 70, that's when I'd make the turn. So probably right about now. So roll in and get this turn over with. Stay coordinated, hold the 70, you're sweeping the horizon, you should be looking out here for this turn. Yep. Kind of sweeping the horizon, you glance inside, make sure your airspeed's there, glance inside and coordinate sure you don't feel it quite yet. Alright, now your here's your runway, now the next flap on base here, hold 70, take a look at your runway, adjust your power as needed for your path. Now how do you feel about maybe an engine out now? Yeah, this is See, it. We're over there dragging it in versus here where if uh, we it, we could just point yeah. right at the runway and, and walk away instead yes. of winding up in someone's backyard, right? Yes, I need more of that. Still have uh, some power to take out, some flap if you want to, to help yourself get down. Yes, we do. Let me make the turn. I think... Uh... See, people in small airplanes typically fly the pattern too wide, too, too wide for uh, uh, safety, I think. Uh, they should be tighter in and, and steeper. Yes. Can I say uh, Timberman Tower? Sure. Timberman Tower, we're going to be departing uh, back to Milwaukee, 7 Lima Golf. Just on uh, 7 Lima Golf, uh, you said uh, to Milwaukee, MP. I'm sorry, Milwaukee, 7 Lima Golf. Mitchell, yeah. Mitchell, all right. Just on 7 Lima Golf. You want a right turn out to the southwest? Sure. Uh, yes, right turn to uh, Mitchell. Cessna 7 Lima Golf, Roger, right turn uh, approved. Right turn, 7 Lima Golf. Is that a little bit of a roundabout way to get that? Uh, it works. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I... You would have said 7 uh, Lima Golf, we're departing the area to, to Mitchell. Departing to Mitchell. Okay. So, so let's keep that climb coming, 70 knot climb. Towers are a couple like to climb to 2,500. Let's Should just level off at 2,000, that way we can sneak under the shelf and yeah. talk to Jack at the ATIS and talk to him. So we just got to ask for a frequency change before we can... Cardinal 08 Golf, uh, in climb to 2,500, maintain VFR. All right, we'll stay with you, 2,500 VFR, Zero Golf. That's not something Lima Golf traffic. One to two o'clock is Cardinal circling. 
four miles south of the field, it will be climbing at 2,500. Negative contact. Negative contact, so then we'll go. I just thought we'll be leveling at 2,000 if we get a frequency change, but uh, We'll be leveling, leveling at 2,000, uh, need a frequency change, Southern Lima Golf. Seven Lima Golf, uh, Rack 2000, contact Milwaukee. 12535, good day. 12535, uh, good day, Seven Lima Golf. Do I need to say, no, no. Nope. Yeah, yeah. Cardinal Zero Eight Golf uh, traffic, uh, three o'clock. Three okay, miles. let's get the ATIS into Mitchell. 2000. Okay, we're 126. Southeastbound towards uh, Milwaukee. Milwaukee Mitchell Airport ATIS information, Mike. Two zero five Mike. two Mike. two. Mike. zero four zero and one one. Just two one. Visibility one zero. Your clouds at three thousand four hundred. Good enough. Let's switch over to twenty twenty five thirty five. Two three zero zero eight. Visual and Royce Drunkway went left. Still using one left. We're off of Timmerman with Mike inbound full stop. Right. This is uh, Milwaukee Approach. That's it. Five Whiskey Juliet, proceed direct to Squib. Direct to Squib, turn up five Whiskey Juliet. Delta 692, turn right hand 340, intercept the final approach course. Delta 2287, turn left, heading of. Uh, Delta 2287, turn left, heading 100, descend to maintain 3000. Monkey approach, 757 Lima Golf, direct from Timberman with Mike, looking for a full stop. Beautiful. Nice call. Number 7 Lima Golf, uh, Milwaukee approach, maintain VFR squad 4660, remain clear to class Charlie. 4660. 4660, uh, maintain, uh, stay clear of class Charlie, 7 Lima Golf. Nice. Nice call. So it'll stay at 2,000 feet, and we'll just... Delta 1692, so did I need to say that? Stay clear yeah, of... Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Delta 692, clear visual approach, runway one left, contact... So we're one underneath one, two, four, the Charlie right now, so we're good. Okay. So that's why we stop at 2,000. And Charlie is above 2,000? Uh, the, the, the floor above 3, Charlie 000? is 2,200. 2,200, yep. Station five, They'll come back and say radar contact, approach, and then we can uh, one, go three, into five, the inner eight, core, eight, which is kind of... Uh, Hard to visualize, but it's about. Southern Lima Gulf radar contact five miles southeast of Timmerman Airport. Uh, turn left, heading 210. About 210, 7 Lima Gulf. 210, vectors for sequence. 7 Lima Gulf, uh, right turn 210. Okay. Right turn 210. turn left, heading 040. Did I say something wrong? Course. Nope. He gave you a right. He gave you a. I think we'd have to look back at the tape, but he uh, gave you an initial left turn 210, I think. I yes, think. he did. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool uh, view of Miller Park right so here. Yeah. Or American Family Field, field sorry. Three, four, yeah, let's watch the altitude. Fly the airplane, aviate, navigate, communicate. Sorry, so I... Seven, thank you. Mitchell Airport, uh, 11 o'clock and 1-2 miles. Is that us? That's so 27. Clear oh. visual approach from my one left, maintain 170 knots to a five mile final. Aviate, navigate, communicate. We'll do a cruise checklist once we're set up at our altitude. Get back to 2000, and then uh, get the airplane under control trim, then you can run the checklist. Okay. What order do we do things in flying? Do you remember? I think I've said it a couple times. Aviate, navigate, communicate. Thank you. Unless you're looking at Miller Park. That's right. <laughs> That's my job. Your job is to fly the airplane. I get to look out the window. Right. My first instructor and mentor and friend. Wisconsin 983, we just speed to 170. Used to tell me at the beginning that I was acting like a passenger. Like you're looking out too much. He's like, do you want to learn to fly or do you want to just ride along? I'm like, he was a character, man. Yeah. He beat the shit out of me. It was not like physically, but boy, did he work me out. He worked everybody out. That's what made him such a good instructor. Yeah. And what do you mean by worked him out? Oh, he was just. He was cranky, and, uh, he was, and, he, and he didn't allow any kind of BS. It was very, he learned his way, and, and, yeah. he, and if you didn't do it well, he would just, he'd work you out, man. It was good. It's a good yeah. way to be, actually. I like those people. 
We need more of those old methods. 83 Mitchell Airport, 1 o'clock. We need to so teach the old methods again, which is why I am so passionate about this. Three, clear visual approach, runway 1 left, maintain 170 knots through left, do a 5 mile final. Even on that last that last one, that pattern where I said, hey, let's fly it in tighter, let's be high, yeah. we'll lose the engine, want to make it in. That's not taught anymore. People are taught this method of fly the down until you're 45 degrees from the corner of the runway and then turn in, blah, 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 blah. By that point, you're usually too low to make something happen if you lose the engine. There's yeah. no more key position being taught, which is that visual out the window, opposite the spot, wait for it to move, turn, and then there's no second key position taught. That's, that's on the base leg with the flap. Make the decision on the rest of your power and flaps kind of stuff. It's yeah. all this pokey pokey, I don't know. Anyway, I yeah, go I, mean, like, oh, yeah, I believe zero. it. You're following an RJ on a one zero mile final. Caution weight turbulence. Report traffic in sight. Have that RJ? All right, so he was, what's RJ? Uh, regional jet. Oh. Yeah, so he did uh, 180, and you see that uh, the, the jet on the final for the north runway? Let's fly the 180 heading. That's just straight south, so just kind of see this uh, freeway down here? Just pa parallel that. If you ever need a north, south, east, or west, find some kind of section line and parallel. There's a little road through the trees here. That's straight south. You just fly over the top of that. That way, if this is ever off, you can yeah. adjust it. Yep. That hawk has been circling up here all morning. I was up here earlier. Or afternoon, I should say. Yeah. All right, let's get this cruise checklist here. Throttle mixture instruments. Yep. And uh, lost 100 feet while you're doing that cruise checklist. So that's part of the trim and the out looking outside thing. In that picture, right? Aviate, right? Yeah. So the seven, seven Lima Golf flight heading one turn left. Correction, turn left heading one six zero. One six zero left uh, seven Lima Golf. Nice. So out there, the call was uh, left turn uh, or it was right turn two one zero vectors for sequence, meaning he's giving us spacing so he can get other airplanes in and work us in to the sequence for landing. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah, I see them all coming in. And uh, same runway that we took off from. Yes. Selling the Gulf, turn left, hitting 100. 100, the Gulf. Now you can say we have the field in sight. This is Selling the Gulf, the RJ you're following is 12 o'clock, 5 miles. Traffic in sight. Traffic in sight, Selling the Gulf. This is Selling the Gulf, caution wake turbulence, follow that, uh, follow that traffic, contact Mitchell Tower 124.57. Following traffic, 124.57, Selling the Gulf. Good. So I don't think we're going to catch him. He's probably going about 150 knots or so. 24, 57 is the tower, and we can switch over there. And you'll make the call and just tell them we're uh, number 241 left. This is Milwaukee Tower. That's it. Milwaukee Tower 757, Lima Golf, uh, number 244 left. So Lima Golf. One. So Lima Golf, just confirm you do have that traffic call on site. Traffic in sight, Lima Golf. Set the leg off, gosh, look, turn on one left, clear to land. One left, clear to land, set the leg off. Watch it. Caution, wake turbulence, talk to me about the wake turbulence. How would you take caution for that in this situation? Uh, we'd stay above them, land uh, past them. Land past where he touches down. Good. What about if you were taking off behind him? Uh, take off before him. And climb uh, above. Climb above. Exactly. Wake and turbulence, down wash off the wingtips, moves back and down. And it lasts, what, two minutes? Yeah, there's some kind of study done where it lasts X amount of time. I don't remember. We can look it up on the ground. Does it not um, matter? Just they always... give you two minutes. It's shorter than two minutes, but they give you a two-minute uh, delay on the ground usually um, before takeoff. Okay. Because it's a, it's whatever the 
study decided it takes for wake turbulence to dissipate after under varying wind condition wind conditions two minutes is conservative amount of time beyond that I guess okay all right so uh, we're good to we're good to land right we are clear to land number two that was number that was number one see those smokestacks out there yeah that is those are the biggest wind sock in the sky over here yes if the smoke is flat the winds are strong if it's straight up and down the winds are light anywhere in between is an indicator of what the strength of the wind is so it's relatively strong yeah and it's coming out of the northeast yeah. because it's going that way Wisconsin 9883, keep it down to uh, Kilo. On a Kilo, we'll be going to the main antenna. Okay, copy, I'll pass that along. But uh, left on so Kilo, we'll, be, we'll need ground next, so I can put that in here. Ground next, eh, for How's our speed, how's our setup? Uh, we're approaching, so I can... Uh, I can start to dial it in. Afternoon, uh, the Lock Tower, card light 2 Zurich Golf is 6 miles northwest for some sort of work about 3 miles. How's our ground speed right now? Door 0 Golf, Roger, you just going to be uh, orbiting in an area well, running Yeah, line. because the wind's straight yeah, out of this uh, direction, right? right? right yes. Yeah. Okay, zero eight 8 Golf, uh, just report on the wind. Report on station, Zurich Golf. Which direction is the wind going to be on the landing? Right or left? From the right. Good. There's an early model Jeep Cherokee down there for sale if you're interested. <laughs> I couldn't see the price though. Southwest. There they are. What a great company. To work for or fly? Both. I agree. Someday I can afford them. That's right. <laughs> so the 9001 with the other visual runway one left. South Southampton, south left 9001, Milwaukee Tower, runway one left, clear lane track to Fourth Party Route. I clear the lane, south of 9001, one left. Just Stanley and Golf, uh, no delay down oh, to gosh, Sierra, left on Sierra, ground point 8. No delay, uh, left on Sierra, ground point 8, Stanley and Golf. Alright. Flaps are coming up, we'll expedite down to the end there. Make that left turn. Yeah, you kept the power on that whole time, we were floating forever. Once you haven't so made the power delay. Nope, nope, that's my bad. Right. Thank you, just uh, report one down I assumed next. it was idle. Report one down there, Alright. Man, so they talk to us while we're fucking landing. Yeah, they shouldn't <laughs> do that, but... He might have thought we were on the ground. 1713 right? Milwaukee okay. Tower traffic. This one here? Yep. We're not heading one left. Easy does it. Alright, uh, lower down on the taxi. Pick off one left. We'll get past that whole short line. There we go. Alright. 